Try if you got Jesus in your heart, you said in the Lord, you'll be happy over there. <laughs> Grab a microphone, Donald. <laughs> Sandra's, where, where's your microphone, dude? <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I'm good. I'm <laughs>
Be walking through those doors here in about a week or two. Amen. Yes. I cannot wait. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, April? Nothing. Oh, with a little gray. I'm gonna hold my body down. There ain't no gray. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord. So I'm gonna hold my body down. Well, when it is that trumpet sound. Well, I'm gonna get up out of that crowd, but there ain't no way. Gonna hold my body down. Well, I look way over yonder, and what do you think I see? I see a man from angels, and they're coming after me. Well, meet me, Jesus, meet me. Put my knees down in 
to say I want to hold and make you Jesus Till I read her promise land Well, meet me, Jesus, meet me Meet me in the air I know these wings won't fail me, Lord Cause you gave me a brand new pair For they don't break There ain't no grave. I gotta hold my body down. Well, when I hear that trumpet sound, well I'm gonna get up, get up, get up out of that crowd. Well, there ain't no grave. Gonna hold.
Amen. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy. Try. sweet Jesus yes thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you sweet Jesus God is good get your Bibles out if you need a Bible there's some in the pew praise God today's been truly a blessed day praise God yes Brother Charlie, we didn't hear from you tonight. Give us a word of encouragement tonight. Ah. Uh, yes. Lord is always good. Anyway, I love the Lord. You know, even sometimes you go for trials and tribulations. But he's something behind it. You go, you come something good. Anyway. Yes. You know. So all the only thing we have to do is just give it, leave everything in the Lord's hands. We don't have control over things anyway. The, the Lord he got control over everything. Amen. So why to worry about it? Why right to get an ulcer about it? That's right. You just leave it into his hand and he will bless you, guide you, give you this grace. Amen. And it's an honor to be with him. Yes. Also in, in uh, like the the supper, the communion, that's very important for me. Because that's that's a privilege. From the Lord to Amen. To that that, you know, in, in reverence to his his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. That's yes. good. Amen. Brother John, stay up and give us a word of encouragement. Give God glory tonight. You didn't think you were gonna get away that easy, did you? He <laughs> <laughs> was trying. Yeah, yeah. In all things give thanks. I think uh, we don't realize that why we go through things is because God is actually he's strengthening. Sometimes it's, uh, he puts us down to draw closer to him. Yes. Yet at the same time, he strengthens you for something greater in your life. And sometimes yeah. you, we don't see that. He's trying to make, mold you and make you to the image of his word. Jesus suffered many things, and he said we would suffer and we would have tribulation in our life. Right. So we need to thank God even in those times. Yes, man. Yes. They're, they're not always pleasant, but they're for our good. It's yes. Our brother Joseph in the Bible was a great example, and if you can.
can see the spirituality of it, he is a type of Christ in the Bible. Yes, he is. And uh, that's that's my favorite. Amen. 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 With that, it's always a privilege to have Sister Geneva preach. We don't hear her as often as we'd like to at times, but she's got the floor tonight. So yes. let's open up our spiritual ears and eyes Amen. and heart to receive what God has for us tonight. Praise God. Give the lady, give the lady a praise offering here. Praise God. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, sweet Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everybody. Hi, Praise God. Heavenly Father, as I come before you with a humble heart, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you fill my mouth, Lord, and anoint my lips to bring forth your name and holy yes. Lord, help me, oh God, to say what you want me to say. Help me give yes. hope. Somebody yes. yes, Lord. And to keep on Lord, on. thank you, sweet Jesus. Yes. Lord, I pray this in your name with the Holy Spirit God. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I'd like to testify for us. Go ahead, sis. A few minutes. Uh, I was talking to Barbara, which is my daughter. And she said they was cooking out Friday night in the, the county, the far, I guess they took too much on the other wall. And little Alex, which is, uh, what do you call him? Alex. Ransom. Yeah. Ransom. yeah. Autistic. Well, anyway, he's got a problem. Autistic. He's yeah. autistic. And uh, she says, as the fire got to going over, he, he, he backed up and he went up on the porch. And he says, I'm afraid of fire. The devil's in it. <laughs> His mother looked. He knows, doesn't he? <laughs> like I told her. Out of mouths of babes Amen. speak wisdom. And his mother says, well, Alex, where'd you hear that from? He says, I don't know. I just heard it, and I said it. I believe God put that name. He don't go to church. don't go to church. And she's and his mother says, Alex, what you find that out? He says, I don't know, but it went into my mind, and I said it. I said, Barbara, you better straighten, start straightening your, your house out. If that little boy can say, the devil's in the fire, and I'm afraid of the fire. Okay, it's something else. It, it gets me to thinking. I kid you not. Uh, artistic little child, you know. So, but anyway, so much about that. I want to thank everybody for praying for me this week. I'm up here by faith. Pray for me tonight. Like I had a sister to come to me today and say, she says, I hate to say this to you because it's hard. I said, you say it, but if God ain't told me already, I won't accept it. Because what God says, he tells you first. Amen. And then somebody else confirms it. I know he's after my ministry. Big time. But you've got news for him. He's not getting it. Amen. I'll follow her dead first before he gets it. Amen. Just pray for him. Like I say, you know, I find out that uh, Brother Al had the same problem years ago. Pretty ago. And buddy, when it hit you, you know, you've been had. <laughs> and it hit me for a couple of days. And Thursday night, y'all prayed for me. And about 4 o'clock in the morning, the devil thought he had me. And I got up to go to the bathroom. And I stumbled to the bathroom. I didn't want, and that whole, and I said, no, wait a minute, devil. And I said, they prayed for me. I believe in prayers. And I said, you just well to get out now. And I started walking the floors, hanging on the walls and things. Drunker than a dog. That could being drunk. I tell you what a feeling, what a time. That, I hope you never feel that. Because your body, you plumb out of control, you just can't control it. So I want to begin to walk. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Every time I got back to my bedroom. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I says, now devil, you see? It's Jesus and me. You ain't got no room. Amen. Sometimes we got to get real strong with the devil. Amen. I'm the man Jesus' name. Not your name. Not the pastor's name. Not your No, baby, Jesus. Amen. And like I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm getting tired of this. I'd put up with it for two days. So I sat back down on the bed. 
Of course, the room was still spinning. I said, Lord, I'm going to lay down here, and I'm going to sleep. Whether I wake up with you or whether I wake up in this world, I'm going to sleep. And I went to sleep and woke up about 10 o'clock. God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. Yes. I'm not telling you my body's not weak. It left me weaker than the cat. But let me tell you something. As long as I can move, I'm coming to church. If I ain't in church, you know something's wrong. Call and ask what's wrong. And I want to thank God for most all of my spiritual children here call me about every day. Are you okay? Are you okay? And I thank God for that. Now so much. Go to Ephesians chapter 5. This is what God laid on my heart. Now you don't have to take this if you don't want to, brother. Because it's good for the rough and spots. Amen. You want to take it anyway? Yes. Okay. I'd let it do because I believe when I'm up here and God puts something in my mind, I pray, God, you put yes. it in my mind what you want me to say. I am to say it. That's I don't right. care if it kills Grandma. That's right. If it kills Grandpa. If it kills Mom and Papa. God go ahead and die. I'm going to say it. God gives it to you. Share it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's right. Okay. Chapter 5, verse 1. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Amen. Now, we know we're the children of God. We come from darkness into light. That's right. Amen. And we want, God wants us to follow Him like we want our children to follow us. Amen. Do you understand? He's always, and we are the example to these children. That's the reason I told Barbara, I said, Barbara, that was of the Lord. That little boy didn't throw it up on his own. I said, he seen it, and he spoke it out, and he ran from it. I said, a whole lot of people better start running from the devil and running to the Lord and get into the Holy Ghost for it's too late. Amen. We, don't, we, don't, we can't play around anymore. God's tired. And the way the things are going, honey, we can go out of this world any time. Any minute. Any minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, walk in love as Christ also loved us, had given himself, given for us himself, for us, and offered sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. Amen. Did you know after we get saved, we are supposed to smell God, smell good to God by his praises. Amen. Don't sit there and praise the Lord if you're a hypocrite and don't That's mean right. it. That's right. That's a stinks in the eyes of the good Lord and in the heart. He wants sweet Yes, Sweet smelling Savior yeah, unto Amen. the Lord, giving praise and sacrifices. Unto Amen. Him. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets me when some people, well, they think they're Holy Ghost filled. They think, well, they are, I guess. They speak in tongues and everything. But they're out of church for three or four months at a time. They come in and try to speak in tongues. Don't give me that garbage. You've got to pray through first. If you got it like you say, you got it. When you can now, not only in sickness, you'll be through them doors. Amen. Because if God's put you here to work, this is your place to work. Amen. Not down the street, here. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can't go visit and help people. Oh, no, I don't mean that. But when your doors are open, if you can at all, be here. Amen. Now, here's what we'll get rid of so you can get on to. But fornication and all uncleanness and covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Amen. We don't supposed to even talk about that kind of garbage. That's right. Even have it on our mind as a Holy Ghost filled person. Amen. Come on, people. You act like you're dead Amen. on me. You know it's the truth. Amen. And who I was telling Brother Al this morning. I admit I got a big mouth. And sometimes I speak out of turn. And they wonder why I don't go back and eat. I got a big mouth. I can't shut up until God learns to zip these lips. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I can say something, okay. But, you know, you get in a big way of talking. And you do say things you shouldn't say. But, anyway. All this junk shouldn't even be named among us. That's right. Neither foolishness, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jarring, which are not convenient, but rather giving of things. Instead of talking things like that, give praise. Yes. Talk about praise and Amen. To the God yes. For what He's done for us. I thank God that I'm even up here walking tonight. Because two days ago, you thought I had to go to the hospital. In fact, Wednesday night, I thought I was going. If I hadn't read the death, me, Jesus, me, run that devil off. I was so 
<laughs> I've never been drunk in all my life. If that's what it's like, I don't want nothing to do with it. Amen. <laughs> no way. Uh-uh. So, but anyway, for this you know that no whoremonger or unclean person or idols or have inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. This kind of thing is not going to even go to heaven. And if you're a Christian and you're guilty, get out. Because it will send your soul to hell. The Bible plainly says so. You can't, you can't play around with the devil and serve right. the Lord too. That's right. You can't serve two masters. That's right. Some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy. I am, but I'm crazy. I'm screwed on to the right boat, the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm all five. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Amen. The, Sister Joyce, there's a lot of vain words going out today. Yes. Watch what you listen to. Watch what you take into your heart. That's right. Amen. That was Six. Sister Anita there that came to me this morning. Now, she had come to me once before. If you fail to come to me and tell me something, you go ahead. But if you're wrong, I'll tell you. If I don't already know about it, uh-uh, honey, you're off base. I don't, I don't know that. But if you come and confirm like you did, I went home and praise God for that. I needed that word. Yes, sir. Well, yes. And God will answer you. God will talk to you. Yes. He won't talk to uh, Sister Joyce for me. He'll talk to me. Right. He'll tell me what he wants me to That's do. That's right. And then you wait for the witness. For the witnesses. When God called me to preach... I said, Lord, you've called me to preach. I know you call me to preach. But the Bible says on the mouth of three witnesses. Within three months and three witnesses come by. <laughs> oh, glory. Praise the Lord. Six. Seven. Let nobody see you for you. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Disobedience. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Now, I know we all make our mistakes, but are you in obedience tonight, of best to your knowledge? Or are you in disobedience? That's right. If you're running this, you're in disobedience. Amen. And I like to tell Al, Brother Al, this morning, I said, I am praying. God, help me to zip my lip. And I only open it when you want it open. Amen. Not when I want it open. Amen. And when it does, Lord, let sweetness come out of it. Amen. To somebody. People today need somebody to be nice to them so bad. Just, Jesus loves you. That's right. Some, that's, that's all some people need is that Jesus loves you. And don't let me tell you, us ministers get down too. We need a kind word every that's now right. We need a pat on the back every now and then. Right. And don't tell me he does. That's right. Because I know, because I pray for him and God shows Amen. me. Amen. Somebody asked me, how would you know that? I says, I don't, I was on my knees to pray. Amen. But you're not know, supposed to broadcast it. Yeah. Amen. Nope. When my pastor calls me and tells me something, says, help me pray about that, and don't say nothing to nobody, I don't say nothing to nobody. Amen. Because, you know, if I do, it's my yeah. sin. Yeah. It's my sin if I tell someone. He's, or either you. If you can't give me a, something to pray about, I say, no, don't tell nobody. And I tell it, it's my sin. And it's your sin if you do it. That's right. Praise. I learned. I was. A, I was a pastor for about a year and a half. After Hank Gillespie died, he was on Thirteenth Street, and I was assistant pastor. And I know a little bit more than what you think I know. I might not talk about it, but when me and Jesus gets a conversation going, let me tell you something. I asked him a lot of things. Amen. And at that time. It fell in my lap just like that. And I said, Lord, I don't know nothing about a pastor. But I had a vote. I got 100%. And let me tell you, me and Jesus and that congregation, they began to grow. We had a good time together. Be not ye there, be not ye there, partakers with them. If you're around somebody that likes to run their mouth, get away. If I'm running my mouth and you're there, walk off. Amen. Because if you do it, I'm going to walk off. Don't mean to 
I don't mean I don't love you. No, but we got to start carrying on the right conversations. Amen. Let's face it. Amen. God's getting tired of this. I call it monkey business around. He, he's tired of people. He says, don't even partake with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light. And the Lord walk as children of the light. Amen. You're the light. You're the world. You're the one the world's looking at. And you know some people. Well, I'd go to church. And there's too many hypocrites. I said, come on in and meet us. I said, be one of us. Hit me one more. For God to take care of. That's the way I look at it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I love every one of you. I'd do anything I could for any any of you. But like I was telling. I don't know, but I kind of feel in my heart and mind that God has got me in this place for a reason, of course, to seek Him more. Amen. And uh, get myself, because I feel that God still, at my age, has got a great ministry for me. Amen. But I feel it's going to be personal, more personal. Amen. Amen. You know, and uh, I want to give out love and all that. And, and it just thrills me to see my spiritual children come in and. I'm so glad you're back, and I'll be glad when Heather gets back. They're my kids, and I worry about them. For you, or sometime in darkness, and I like, Lord, walk with you. For the fruit of the Spirit is in goodness and righteousness and the truth. That's your fruits. Mm -hmm. Like I was praying and asking God, I said, Lord, if you have to, take and turn me all the way around and upside down. Don't ask nothing you don't want. Because I tell you, he was me to do it. And this past week, I feel like I've been turned around and upside down and then out and every other way. And like you said, it did come to me. Your work's finished. Your work's finished. And I said, wait a minute. God didn't tell me my work's finished. See, that was them. I bet you gotta know when he speaks to you. You gotta have enough in here to know that the Holy Spirit when he's talking, when the Lord's talking, you gotta know that. And I, I, I said, uh, uh, it's not time for it's not time for me to stop providing what is acceptable in the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Amen. Now, if you're living a good life and love Jesus. God may see you, show you somebody to go to and talk to them. But do it in love. Amen. And if you can't do it in love, keep your mouth shut. Because they may come back on you. And I'm one that would come back on you. Amen. Let's face it. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind you preaching me hell, far, bim, stone, and fluffing up. If you're living it. If you're not living it, don't come to me. That's right. Amen. That's what I feel about it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For it is, yeah, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Do you know how many people that's doing and working in secret and they think nobody's looking? I've got news for you. The unseen eyes look. Right. And if you keep it up and you belong to the Lord and keep coming to church playing a hypocrite lie, somebody's going to see it. Somebody's going to know it the Holy Ghost and they're going to come to you. Because God don't put up that kind of stuff. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's good, sis. But all things that are approved are made manifest by the light, for whosoever does make manifest is in the light. We're true children of God. We're, working, we're going to be in the light, and God wants us to let our light shine. He doesn't want us to let it flicker. He wants it to shine. shine. Amen. And let me tell you something. It's not an easy road. And i got news for you. It's going to get rougher. Amen. And if you can't stand this, Watch it. Like I told somebody the other day, they think this is going to get over easy. It's not. But God is getting us ready for the big stuff. This is only the crumb of it. The crumb of it. You wait till the big stuff comes along. Amen. And I really truly believe that with all my heart. I asked somebody, I said, if you can't accept this, why are you going to do when the morning of the week comes along? 
I'm going to keep on my plan on being here. I'm going to first boot out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise God. Well, I feel God's finished. I was able to go to Ephesians and, and prove to you the Lord. How many believe the Lord's coming? Amen. And He's getting us ready. Amen. I believe He's coming as soon as I. Very soon. And He's getting His people ready. And we're supposed to be helping other people too to get ready. Does Amen. It like, does it seem like, though, the more you pray for your family, the worse they get? Sometimes. Oh, Lord. I tell you, I love my daughter. Oh, mercy, mercy, poor child. <laughs> but, but anyway, God's finished. The spirit is gone. Okay,